everybody, my name's Nikki Welly and I'm from the Vermont Evaporator Company. And today we're gonna unbox the sapling. So you don't need very many tools while doing this. An electric drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, three 30 seconds inch um, drill bit, and then a Phillips head bit for your electric uh, drill. Everything um, for the sapling evaporator comes in the box. The pan, the 90 degree stack elbow, the door, Assembly the flange to uh, sapling stove pipes. So then we need to get the barrel out of the box. Okay, so I'm gonna set the barrel evaporator up on this picnic bench so that way we can get easier, we can get to the legs easier put the legs on easier and it doesn't roll around so i'm just gonna flip it over like that here's the door here's the bracket for the door we've got the legs here's all of the screw the nuts and bolts and self-tapping screws um, that we need is all in this bag. So I um, am working on my porch today. Uh, so I'm gonna keep all my stuff in here so I don't lose anything down the porch. Um, and that's what's great about the sapling is that it's portable so you can pick it up and move it to wherever you'd like to, to sugar uh, later. So we get rid of this paper and then we're gonna assemble the legs. We want to align the legs so that the feet face the back, which is over here. So here's the door and here's the back. So we're gonna take these um, legs and we're gonna get our the nuts and bolts out of here. In your kit, you're gonna get stainless steel um, bolts, which are for the door frame, and then you're gonna get zinc oxide ones, which are um, you for using on the legs. The zinc oxide ones are shinier and brighter and the stainless steel ones are a little bit more dull. Take our leg, get towards the back. So I'm just gonna slide the, mat, the bolts into the holes. Get the other leg. The way you do it is you put the lock washer on first and then the back afterwards. Just hand tighten. And then I'm gonna flip it over to get the ones in the back. After that, we're gonna put the door frame on. When orienting the door, um, this is the latch. So right now we have it where the opening is at the bottom and that's not what we want. So we're gonna flip it over and put it right here. And so we'll put the stainless steel bolts in here. Then we're going to put the door on the door frame with the clevis pins. Next is to connect the flange to the exit hole, which is in the back. Here is the flange, the first piece we need. So we're gonna take um, and then mark where our holes need to go. There's two options here. One is you can use your drill to pre-drill some holes um, and then put in your self-tapping screw, um, but you don't need to do that. You can, the self-tapping screw drills its own hole um, and it'll pull it right in. Slide the sapling stack elbow um, onto the flange. Our evaporator pan. Align the pan so that the core off is towards the front. And it slides right into place. We'll take this tiny piece of pipe tape, go just back one thread. That way it doesn't get in our maple syrup wrap it around your pour off valve when you're doing this make sure you don't pull on this handle too much or you might um you might break the, the valve 
And that's it. I hope this is helpful for assembling your evaporator. We have a lot of fun using ours. Reach out to us if you have any questions during assembly. We're always happy to hear from our customers. And happy sugaring. Bye.